Hello and welcome to our second set of tutorials here. In this tutorial we're going to be using the level that we created in the first set of tutorials, the splinter level. Uh, we're going to be uh, creating a tunnel that will actually go underneath the uh, surface of the level and then we'll create a little bunker down there. Um, the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually merge in our Master Chief reference file just so for reference so we know how big we want to make the uh, entrance to the tunnel. So we're going to go up to File and then click on Merge. And then you're going to want to navigate to your Halo CE root directory. And then you're going to want to go to Data, Levels, Test, Tutorial, and then Models. And then there your, uh, the tutorial model is sitting there. You're going to want to open up tutorial.max. Uh, window will pop open with all of the objects that are available to merge. We want to merge the Master Chief, so we'll select him and click OK. In my case, we have a conflicting material. It'll ask me what I want to do. I'm going to rename the material that I'm merging in to MC underscore material name. Uh, the MC is for Master Chief, and that's just in case I need to look at the materials in the future. I'll know which one is the Master Chiefs, and I won't get confused. Um, when you get bigger levels with many, many, many materials applied, it's always good to uh, keep the naming scheme so that it's something that you can remember. So in this case, we'll uh, merge him in here. And he's sitting in here, but he's not where we want him to be. We actually want him to be at a world value of 0, 0, 0. So he's right in the center of our 3DS world. So we're going to, uh, with the Master Chief selected, we're going to click on the Select and Move gizmo to bring up the Transform gizmo there. And down at the bottom here, we're going to want to give it an XY val XYZ value of 0, 0, 0. And now he's sitting in the center of our 3DS Max world. We're going to move him around just a little bit. And we'll bring him right about there. And then in our perspective viewport, we're going to zoom in on him. And kind of pull him up from uh, the ground there. And now he's standing there, and now that's exactly where we want him. We're going to actually build the entrance of the tunnel right now. So we are going to go under our Creation tab. We're going to select Box and we're going to draw out a box here. In the top viewport we'll just draw the box right in front of the Master Chief and we'll turn off the surface materials so we see a wireframe there and we're going to want to give this a, a length value of about 150 a width value of 200 and a height value of 150. Now we have our box created we're going to bring that box up so uh, it too is just at the surface of the level there. Okay, now we have our box there. We're actually going to want to add some length, width, and height segments. On length, we'll give it about three segments there. Width, we'll give it two segments, and height, we'll give it two segments. And now we'll right click on the box, go to convert to, and convert to editable mesh. So now we have our box as an editable mesh. We will go into the top viewport go into vertex selection mode make sure ignore back facing is turned off so that we can select all the vertexes when we uh, click and drag here we're going to select those three vertexes right there and we're going to pull them back this will actually make some thickness to the walls to the side of the tunnel and then we'll select those three there and bring them back as well Okay, and then in our front viewport, we're going to select the middle three and bring them up just a little bit. We'll select the middle one on that, that direction and bring those up as well. These, the thickness of the uh, top there should match the thickness of the sides, pretty close anyway. And now we're actually going to weld our vertexes together. Uh, we do this by selecting an entire row of vertexes. We'll drop them down to the next row. Then in our perspective viewport, we'll go to the back here. And you want to select two groups, or you want to select groups of uh, two vertices. So we'll just uh, click and drag over what would be two verticals. And then you'll notice down uh, under the modifier stack in selection, you can see how many uh, vertices that we have selected. In this case, we do have two. We're going to want to weld these. Um, we're going to bring our weld threshold up to about five and then click on weld selected. 
And now those two vertices, if you'll notice right here, have welded into one. So now it's saying vertex 15 selected. And we're going to want to do that with all four here. Okay, now that those four are welded, we're going to bring the rest of the box down here and weld those together as well. Okay, and now we have the basic shape of the entrance to our tunnel. We're actually going to select all four of those verticals and we're going to pull this out a little bit. The reason for this is when we create the ramp that's going down, that ramp can't be any steeper than uh, 45 degrees or Master Chief uh, won't be able to run up that. So we'll just drag that out a little bit there and that looks about good. At this point we'll go ahead and save the file and we'll move on to step two in the next tutorial.